While social selling, networking and emailing often lead to new business in recruitment, our phones are still our biggest weapons, provided we know how to use them. But canvassing for new business is still an agency recruiter's toughest challenge and rejection will always be a necessary evil to the job. So it's easy to fall out of love with your phone when you're having little success when using it. So how can we bounce back from this and try to remember and take a little more blended approach to sales rather than just one or the other? Try focusing on making calls that are likely to convert. Making as many prospecting calls as possible to hiring managers in the hope that the laws of probability will bring you some success is just an old school technique. It just doesn't work anymore. This kind of spray and pray mythology will just make you dread the conversations you're going to have each time when you pick up the phone. We have so much information at our fingertips these days, there's really no excuse for calling prospects without doing your research first. So you're confident they'll be a right fit and likely to convert. A great tip I learned from our fish Wendy, doing our own recruiting days in BD, know who's doing what and who's doing it well. That way, you can fill your recruitment pipeline with prospects who have cash in the bank and they're more likely to convert to cash on the board. Tip number two, become a warm call zone only. Nurturing a good relationship with your phone isn't just about calling the right people, it's about knowing exactly what you want to say when they pick up the phone as well. The easiest way to have a serious fallout with your phone is if you set yourself up for bad conversations by making ice cold calls without putting any effort into researching first. Do you have some good solid background knowledge in the person you're calling? If you make sure you're picking up the phone to warm calls, you'll be feeling more confident and have more success as a result of this. Tip number three, embrace rejection and turn it into a positive. Unfortunately, rejection is part of the parcel of being a recruiter, but that doesn't make it any easier to handle when your prospect tells you they're not interested in working with you in a role you're confident that you could probably fill with one phone call. Also, try spending some time developing solid objection handling techniques like these so you know how to approach potentially awkward situations in the future. This will mean you're always prepared to bounce back, even from the most difficult conversations. Which does take me to my next point. Have better conversations. Okay, so having better conversations will naturally make us enjoy being on the phone more, but it's easier said than done, I know that. Well, there's some simple actions you can take that will improve your phone conversations vastly. For example, talking more than listening. Interrupting someone or asking a question and not listening to the answer because you're too busy thinking about what you want to ask next. These are all examples of small subconscious negative habits many of us practice when we speak to people on the phone. And they all make the experience of a conversation a lot less enjoyable. Asking specific questions that are tailored based on what you've learned prior to the call will also show the person that you're calling that you value their time and have a genuine interest in learning more about their challenges. These are the sorts of conversations that make someone feel good and that's the best outcome you can hope for in these situations. Cover all of these points each time you go to pick up the phone and you can guarantee the nature of your calls will improve and you'll enjoy picking up the phone again. I've recently done a blog on this subject and you'll be able to find more hints and tips in the link below.